But um, no, we haven't been criticized. We've been more criticized for singing with the real Elvis. <laughs> you know, um, because um, the black community obviously felt that we shouldn't be doing it. So Ebony Magazine, in fact, called us and uh, wanted to know, this is, we got a lot, why are you singing with Elvis Presley? You know, why not? <laughs> and then sometimes we get um, shot back with, well, you know what he said about black people. Uh, yeah, I heard that story too. Um, but I also heard the one he said about Mexican people. It's the same story. <laughs> what he said about <laughs> the story is Elvis Presley said, "All a black person, I'm using that, can do for me is shine my shoes." Mexicans have the story. All a Mexican can do for me is shine my shoes. That's also attributed to Elvis. Yeah, that's a story. That's a rumor made up by some rock and roll singer who wanted to be where Elvis was, I suppose. Because as far as I'm concerned, Elvis treated us royally. And if he said it, I don't care, because there's the things that I've said I don't want anybody repeating. <laughs> but I don't believe that he would make a statement like that, especially knowing the way he treated me. He treated me like a princess. Now, I loved him, and I knew he loved me, you know? You know, you just know it. But we got over that flag. Ebony Magazine did an article where they researched the statement that Elvis had um, said some, made some racial slur. And they researched it. They had us there um, in Chicago do an interview to tell how Elvis treated us. Uh, and. I mean, they researched it for years, talking to different people, black, white, you know, and they finally came out with a statement uh, recently, you know, not, mo not more than five years ago, that they had researched this particular theory and they had found that there was no truth to this, um, the thought that Elvis had made that racial slur.